Our second method for working out the tidal stream uh, strength and direction comes straight from the chart. So here, if we look at this training chart, uh, you can see there's a funny symbol here with a C inside it. If we go up further up the chart, you can see here there's a very similar symbol, but this case with an A. And further down the chart again, you can see down here there's a symbol with a D inside it. These are actually in the same location as the arrows we previously saw on the tidal atlas. But on their own, they don't seem to have a lot of information on them. Now let's take an example. This point A here, this is a reference point where tidal streams have been recorded. The information isn't here, the information is on the side of the chart, in this case at the top of the chart. And you can see here the tidal diamond A is shown in this first column and there's a column for each of these so-called tidal diamonds for all the different tidal diamonds that are dotted around the chart. Now let's have a look at this in a little bit more detail. First of all, at the top of this table, the first thing you need to note is that this table is reference to high water time at a standard port, in this case Victoria. So before using these tidal diamonds, you'd need to know the high water time for today at Victoria. So let's look at our first example we were looking at, the tidal diamond A. You can see here, right on the left hand side of this table, there are numbers going through negative 6 through 0 all the way through to positive 6. If we look at 0, this data here, on this row here, refers to high water at Victoria. And negative 1 refers to 1 hour before, negative 2, 2 hours before, and as you might guess, the plus 1 is 1 hour after, 2 hours after, all the way from up to 6 hours after, and going all the way back to 6 hours before high water. You can see this is very much in the same format as we had on the Tidal Atlas, it's just in numerical format. So let's look at one example. If we were three hours before high water at Victoria today, we can see the first number, 297, gives us the direction of the tide at that time. And we then have two numbers. We have 1.4 and we have 0 0.7. The first number, 1.4, gives us the spring rate and the 0 0.7 gives us the neap rate at that particular location, so the location uh, indicated on the chart by the tidal diamond A. Now that you've seen both methods of finding the tidal stream direction and speed in a particular location, you can see that the actual output, what you get out of them, is very much the same. You get a direction and a speed of the current. The method is very different. Some people prefer the tidal diamonds because it comes straight from the chart. You can do it just using the chart. You don't have to refer to a separate book. Um, whereas others would prefer the tidal atlas because it's very much more pictorial. And certainly when you're planning a passage, the tidal atlas gives you the ability to flick from page to page and see very quickly what the tide's going to do over the course of the passage. <laughs>